I don't know whether this will exactly, uh, solve the lost problem. I think I'm just having some hiccups. Yep, there go the frames. Curse you, I ISP! <sighs> I think I'll just have to fight through it. We'll have to fight through it. Well, um... About that. Uh... There's been a change of plans. Uh, Clan Ring. I, uh... We can say that Orlant interfered in this one. Because, uh... We have a situation. In the process of me wrestling with things, and the suddenness of the moment, and I, I can't quite explain what happened. What matters is that there was a crash. The M player was tired of Saz. And we've been transported back to sacred time. The save game was not corrupted. There was no save. I wasn't expecting the game, I wasn't expecting the player to crash. So I'm going to interpret that as a sign from Orlanth. Or Ted Turner, one of the two. I'm continuing to drop frames, by the way. But, uh, we'll fight through it and eventually the problem might fix itself. Or else I'm going to call my ISB, and I don't want to have to do that right now. You don't exactly have a redo. Sacred Time itself is going to be different. Praise Ted Turner. <laughs> uh. No, this is the latest save file I have. The save file was made at the last Sacred Time. So shut the fuck up. You already have my chaos. Anyway, our god talkers pr predict a more or less normal harvest, and they forecast a mild dark season. There is no guaranteed cattle raid this time. So, uh, Clan Ring, now that o Orlanth or Ted Turner, we'll say Ted Turner. Ted Turner has taken us back in time. <laughs> Ted Turner, for whatever reason, decided, decided that he could make more money by taking his back in time. So, uh... I'll go ahead and see what I can remember. It was something like two in quests, two in diplomacy, one in crops, one in herds, and... Maybe the second one was in crops. Or trade or something. I forget the exact layout, even though it was like 20 minutes ago. One herds. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Like trade those two crops. Okay, that's what we're doing. Okay. So I might just delete that video. Um, I might not upload it to YouTube. Rather, I don't know because uh, none of it happened. <laughs> it wasn't real. <laughs> We're not allied with the Apple Clan anymore, so I imagine you guys want to try your, uh, three horses, ten goods try there. Or ten goods, five horses, or whatever the hell you want to do. Let's see, Sky Carson says, yeah, three horses, ten goods. Alright, that's what we're doing. We'll send some guards. There. And we'll try the same tactic that we did before. You will profit greatly from an alliance. A chief can't think only of wealth, and in other areas your proposal is weak. This time your offer was declined, everyone. Do you want to try again? I was about to say that Gustav, Ted Turner, give him the Ted Turner take of the money. 
<laughs> uh, Alright, we'll try again. Obviously, we know that that fifth option will work. It's just a matter of the percentages in play. Apples propose alliance. Quick play another time war card. That's not happening. Again, I hope. I hope the main player doesn't crash again. Or else that would be a problem. Alright. So, are we trying the Yule Prophet greatly from an alliance option again? We know it worked in the alternate reality, but it just didn't work this time. Spectro says five. I like Scrabble says five. Larian says five. Rumple Bob says five. Cloud says three or five. The Roller Dark Wolf says why not. All right. Agreed that our two clans should be allies. <laughs> Terra Sarin, a warrior of the Wolf Clan, comes bearing something you may have been looking for. He refers to Hindala, the young daughter of one of your weapon thanes. She came to our clan claiming to be an orphan, insisting that we adopt her so that she could grow to be a mighty warrior. We recognized your clan insignia and reckoned that her story could stand to be checked. That's when she started the tantrum she's been throwing the whole way over here. Skull the impertinent brat. I'm not sure about this. Her words, though foolish and without foundation, have brought shame upon our warriors. She does not embarrass us. We embarrass ourselves by threat fretting over such a minor manner. We must show our gratitude to Terrasarin. Skull the impertinent brat. This child's unknowing words have brought shame upon our warriors. Fucking kids, everyone. Fucking kids. I like Scrabble says five. Stay Carson says two. Cloud says two. Old Lord Dark Wolf says two. Rumble Bob says three. Larian says five. Spectre Breeze says three. Looks like we got three votes for two, two votes for three, and two votes for five. So, we owe his clan a favor. Slights make war, but favors make peace, he responded. Your words are generous, and I am honored to accept them. We're now in fire season, everyone. We could go on that hero quest all the kids are talking about these days. You got two magic and hero quests. This could be the time. Or you could try to send some sort of crazy expedition to the Kanthasars and try to get them to ally up with you. I like Scrabble wants to cattle raid. Larian wants to cattle raid. Rumple Bob wants to cattle raid. I like Scrabble, suggests cattle raiding the Tanaheart. Overlord Dark Wolf suggests cattle raiding the boars. Larian goes with Tanaheart. Spectro says sure, Tanaheart. Rumple Bob says Tanaheart.
We managed to sneak around their patrols and speared away 38 cows without being spotted. Well, good job, I like Scrabble, and those who agreed. You showed those Tana Heart bastards not to take your cows. Oh, we're being raided by the brown boars. They have 16 horsemen and 169 swordsmen. Luckily, our patrol spotted them, and all 20 weapon thanes met them, as well as 151 of the feared. No magic was spent on war during sacred time. We're fighting on our home terrain here. Bob says drive, man. This guy Carson says kill, man, because the last time people said kill, that totally worked. Frenchy Moogle advises never kill unless you have a clear advantage. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're going with driving and maneuvering. There was one vote for one magic, one vote for two magics, and then five votes for no magic. So we're going with no magic spent. That is the will of the goddamn clan ring. Yay! The brown boars had burned three steads before we mustered our warriors. They, their charge hit us before we could shift our lines. It was a short, nasty battle. Their magic confused and confounded our warriors because we had no magic spent in war. We were driven from the battlefield, and the brown boars made off with six horses. They burned two more of our steads, bringing us to five lost steads. Nine weapon thanes were wounded, 19 footmen were killed, 38 more footmen were wounded. The brown boars lost practically nothing in exchange. Second turn to fire season. Nine weapon thanes are currently wounded. Brown boars just fucking smack the fuck out of this clan, and the weapon thanes are discontented as a result. Larry wants to cattle raid them back. Cloak wants to get more weapon thanes. You're not looking exactly to get more weapon things. You can't. You have 20 weapon things. You have to put them back together. Crunchy Moogle attacking the boars has been successful. But uh, this clan, which put nothing in war this year, and decided not to spend as a collective any points in magic on that battle, is, uh, is very vindictive and uh, cannot overlook any slights, ever. Crunchy Moogle? This is the Chuckle Fox. They can't make up their minds. Oh, also, I want to note with the whole burning of steads and the losses and everything, we only have 15 goods, and Chalano Roy doesn't like living sacrifices. You really need all those goods. Unless you're going to trade for more. Because by the end of the year, if you don't have 44 goods, uh, some temple is going down. You know, it's a combination of all the goods that were traded away with those female auxiliaries, who were taken on a failed raid to the brown boars, by the way. 
<laughs> I just feel like reminding everyone about that. We don't have enough horses to mount all our nobles and weapon things. We can buy more, hope to get some by raiding. Traded away too many horses. More fields or pastures would make it harder for our enemies to sneak up on us. We're, uh... We don't have enough farmers right now because there's so many that are wounded. We'd be better off on our own. We should be concentrating on our crafts so we can make more gifts to distribute. I'll bet the apples would give us tribute if we asked. We have more enemies than allies. Jordan encouraged us to do stuff. I have nothing to add. One hand washes the other. We should buy some cattle. Explore at home or afar. We can find valuable items to trade. We can spare the farmers for a raid. Weapon Thanes are not happy and all of them are on patrol. Fire season is traditionally time for raids. We have no healer on the ring. We should have more hunters, apparently. Really. It's possible we have a couple too many hunters. We should have more hunters. It's possible we have a couple too many hunters. We should have more hunters. <laughs> the poor dark wolf pulled the crap. What should you guys do? Well, you guys should make up your mind and somehow come to a consensus with a decision. Throw a feast. Next turn is Earth season. You'll get more food. No. Well, Crunchy Moogle, those were recorded a long time ago. Back before King of Dragon Pass became so hip and cool to play these days. Now everyone's like, oh my goodness, I love King of Dragon Pass. It's the best game ever. Your girlfriend? <laughs> sure, bring her on. <laughs> this is a Grimoth guarantee. <laughs> Couple Bob says trade for goods. You don't exactly have to trade for goods, you'll get enough. You just really can't burn through what you got. Uh, Sky Carson says Hero Quest. I like Scrabble says Hero Quest. <laughs> what? How could she not trust me? <laughs> I am a leading authority on these things. There you go. Club pulled out the numbers. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, we're gonna go on a hero quest then. Well, Clan Ring, which hero quest would you like to choose? Elmal guards the stead, sending the clan leader, who is very, very bad and needs to improve himself. Arnal defeats the tribe with a very skilled worshiper of Arnalda. We have Isaris the Conciliator, but we don't really have a worshiper of Isaris that can be recommended. And those are all the hero quests we have. So far, Clan Chucklefux is 0 for 6 on hero quests. 0 for 6. No, Fluffy Woofy, the Kanthasos are not our allies anymore. There was a thing that happened. Alright. Larian says feed the tribe. Rumpel says feed the tribe. Sky Carson says, uh, Arnalda. Spectre says feed. Looks like we're going with Arnalda. The apples are just like our allies, the Kanthasos. They're like, the fuck we're sending any help? What the fuck is wrong with you? We ain't sending shit. Do you realize what we're raiding? No. This myth begins with an attack on Arnalda by an enemy, which causes starvation within the Storm Tribe. She goes on a journey to recover Barntar, Ezra, and Yeralda, the lost gods who will enable her to feed the tribe. What benefit does Eren Sanda, who is not on the clan ring right now, Seek from this hero quest to bring back a treasure, to increase crop yields, to make the cows healthy, to reconcile the grievances of the curls, or to strengthen the quester. We could have reviewed this story, but I think we've reviewed this story enough times on camera. Looks like we're going for one. Treasures! The Carls don't hate you guys, the Carls feel secure right now. The weapon thanes are a little discontent and the clan mood is grim. Carls do not have grievances right now. For that you would need the overarching clan mood. Alright, we're going for treasure. Okay, since this person's not a member of the clan ring, all the clan ring is responsible for the decisions. As soon as she appears in the realm of the gods, Eren Sanda is attacked by a cackling skeletal figure. It is Daga, god of drought. Convince Daga to mend his evil ways. Fight back. Leave the realm of the gods, run away or suffer Daga's blows. Of the three times that, uh... Clan Chucklefucks has made it to this section, twice with Suffer Daga's Blows chosen, both times the Quester died. The third time, the Quester chose to run away, and then wandered in the Realm of the Gods for a long-ass time. Of course, as is the case with the Hero Quest, there is a historically correct answer which provides the best chance of success, but the, some of the other options could succeed too. Looks like we're going with five. Eren Sanda suffered terribly as Daga attacked her. She felt everything going wrong as all the sustenance was torn from the earth. She felt the cries of the starving people of the Storm Tribe. But she survived! Daga could not kill her! Eren Sanda is strong enough to survive the blows of Daga! Good job, Clan Chuckle Fox. That's true, Jack. Eren Sanda knows that many things which seem to be dead are really just hiding in the earth. Daga has dried up many things, and so the usual holes in the earth are gone. Eren Sanda needs to find a new way of making a hole. So she goes to Ernalda's grandchildren, the Aldriami, <laughs> and asks them for one of their seeds. The elves are reluctant to help. You abandon us, Ernalda, and join our enemies, the Meatmen. These Meatmen, this new tribe of yours, they are forest killers. And those who kill forests kill us. Convince them you are no traitor. Leave the realm of the gods. Offer them a gift of magic. Remind them that they are your grandchildren. Tell them that Daga's drought 
will affect them too. Purple Bob says five. Larian says five. Clout says five. I like Scrabble says four. Spectro says uh, five. Overlord Dark Wolf says one. I like Scrabble's also saying it's four. Rumble Bob says was five for me last time. That's the beauty of these. There's a best option answer, but other options work too. 